I wish we'd keep touring with the show. Mr. Stubbs will teach me the juggle. Sorry, Tag, but the hometown's going to be our last performance. We've had a lot of fun and we've raised a lot of money. And you've got to go back and start juggling that reading, writing, and arithmetic. White horse. It's a Welshman. Where's my suitcase? I put it up on top of the other luggage. Why? Well, my gun belt's in it. You don't hook it up there. And if you'd be so kind, hand me that money box. Anything you say. Here it is. Give me the money box. Well, let's be sold. If it isn't Miss Annie O'Kee. And caught without her guns, too. Oh, what a blooming shame. We'll just have to shoot it out another time. At your ladyship's convenience. Now, if you'd be so kind as to hand me that money box from underneath your dainty feet. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. We raised that money for charity. Why are you doing? Well, it's not for the young lady. I'd cut you all to ribbons. Come quickly, the money. Quickly. Come quickly. got away with most of it. Look, there's hardly 2,000 left. Here's a packet of ones. Got a whole plump through them. Well, it'll still spend. Think of those poor families that are counting on the rest of it. He got almost $3,000. Yes. Beach me. Spongy, and it's been torn by a slug. Maybe he shot it off his horse. Saddle Patty. I don't know. It's got blood on it. Maybe it's underlining for brass knuckles. Well, I'll take it back and show it to Lofty. Right. Don't say anything to anyone about this tag. Why not, Annie? Well, how'd the Welshman know that we were carrying the money box instead of Mr. Sills? Here, young 
I'm a good man. Mm. Keep the change. Thanks. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Just mention Sills Wonder Show to all your neighbors. <laughs> yes, all your neighbors. Everybody's got to see Sills Wonder Shows. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and everybody will see it, too. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> One real quick. Two colors. What do you think? A real humdinger. Mm-hmm. You referring to the young lady? The quality of my advertising. Both. excited. Wonder what's up. Can't hold that darn money. You think they would have stopped at the bank first? Lucy! The Now, this raid definitely narrows down the Welshman's base of operation. He has to be working from a hideout within this circle. Because within the last two weeks, he struck here at the bank here at the express office, here, here, and here. Does that mean anything special to anybody? To me, it does. It looks like he's following the show. Right, Annie. You not only draw crowds, but you bring money into town. In that case, I'm quitting. I'll take the back pay due me out of the money Annie salvaged. Now, hold on, Lou. We need you. Besides, county hospital's got a press claim on this here money. We must live, Lou, Mr. Seals. Yes, and I want mine before the Welshman gets it. You know he's going to come back and even up the score with Annie. Yeah, and run away with what money's left, so I'll divide it. I got the biggest claim. Hold it. All right, break it up, all of you. I'll impound this for safekeeping. If we don't recover the stolen money, this 2,000 will be divided fairly. Yeah, let's be sensible and calm down. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. Lou, don't take them boxes around back like you told you. Stop. Pick up them old cars over at Roger's drug store. We'll use next week before it starts. Annie. I think it would be safer if you got out of town for a while. Look, why don't you ride over to Elliot and stay with your uncle? Nothing doing. I haven't worked two months to disappoint a lot of needy people. You know, Lofty, I think somebody connected with the show is helping the Welshman. Any idea who? No. Oh, but I shot this off the Welshman, or his horse, one of the two. Now, if you can just figure out what it is, it might be a lead. Funny looking stuff. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Well, got to start someplace. Check with you later. She's no dummy. Don't you worry. I'll see her pigtails, girl. Now, here's what I want you to do. And look to you do it, Papa. Spongy, go so good. All right, so the spongy thing can be important. I agree. Maybe it's holster lining. Maybe it's part of a friction grip to his gun handle. But finding his hideout is a more direct attack. Well, what about the old Borgman place, Lofty? 
Well, I'd say that would be the most likely spot in the area, Annie. Check the safe. Here. It's been fooled with. your office, Lofty. I'm going after Tag. Yes, sir, Tag, my boy. Like I was a tell you for. Them all the same fella. My little brother, Jimmy. <laughs> Greatest quick change artist in the world. Impersonate anybody. Thousand dialects. Trouble was, he got to playing bunko artist. <laughs> That's Florence to tell me was up Laramie Way, where the posse applauded him with bullets. <laughs> enough to impersonate a corpse. No, there's nothing on file like it, any. Well, I'm still gonna mail it to the marshal's office. I've seen that face and those eyes somewhere in these parts before. And what's more, I'm darn sure he's still alive. Well, could be. Right now, I think we ought to head out to that Borkman place. Yeah.
one person would live here. Yeah, Borglum's ghost. Well, let's put the horses in the back and take a quick look around anyway. Defended herself in the 
Wild against the Panama. Oh, Tag, instead of going out there with me today, I want you to watch the audience. Keep your eyes open. Right? Right. Mr. Stills, do you think you could take Tag's place today? I'd be pleased to. But why? Well, I, I didn't want to tell you this, but I'm almost sure that your brother Jimmy is the Welshman. What? Who's he at? Right here in town. But Andy, he ain't going out there. Again. I've got to. I give you that amazing artist and greatest exponent of marksmanship of all time, the one and only Annie Oakley. Thank you. 